Hey, let's talk about vibrato now. Vibrato is what makes music very expressive. We don't get the opportunity to play with vibrato in bands, but it's really what makes a great musician sound great. Just like a singer, vibrato is very important to carry the tune. Now, let's discuss how many different ways we can use vibrato on the trombone. As you notice, I did this with my slide, and it is called slide vibrato. Very unique to the trombone indeed, and it's an old sound. You're going to hear movies from the 1940s that they use the trombone with that kind of vibrato. It's almost dated, but I think you'll like it because it really has a lot of warmth to it, and it's easy to play. Basically, we play one pitch. I'm going to play a G for you. I'm going to move my slide just a little bit around that G, a little bit above and a little bit below. Notice how I'm kind of going like this with my wrist? It makes it easier. We could go even wider if you wanted to. But then it sounds a little silly. So nice tight with the wrist. The reason why I like to start with slide vibrato is because you get the sound of that vibrato or oscillation in your ear. It makes it easier for you to vocalize it on the trombone after that. There's a couple of different ways we can play with vibrato that's not slide. One is with your jaw. If you think of going wah 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 you can play with vibrato. Although it might be a little big and slow, it still works. Here's that vibrato on a G again. You see how I move my jaw up and down? And it kind of makes the pitch go a little higher and then a little bit lower. It's almost like chewing. Another way for vibrato on trombone is to use your vocal cords, basically. Oh, in that sort of way. We're sort of using our throat. Let me demonstrate that. And furthermore, we want to have a little combination between the throat and a little bit of the jaw. I like to think of just making the prettiest sound I can and, and let my vibrato carry the tune. When we learn vibrato for the first time, generally we do a little too little. So we want to overdo vibrato when we learn. That's why I think you should learn to jaw your notes and really get a handle of how far you can go with it. And perhaps also with uh, your throat. Just so you can see how far you can go with it. Because generally vibrato is something that needs to be louder rather than softer. And on trombone, when you play with vibrato, you're actually going to use more air 
than you did if you didn't play with vibrato. I'm going to play the piece that I played, this time with a combination of my jaw and my throat. Vibrato is a lot of fun to play with, and you learn your own personality through your musical instrument, and others can hear how you can express music better. It's a lot of fun, so enjoy playing vibrato.